Welcome to the lesson on electromagnetic induction. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to define electromagnetic induction, state and explain Fleming's right hand rule, explain the working of an electric generator, explain domestic electric circuits. We know that magnetic field causes a current carrying conductor to move. Then, can we generate electric current from a moving magnet? Well, as per physicist Michael Faraday, we can generate electric current. Let's find out with a simple activity. Take a coil of wire and connect it with a galvanometer, which is used to detect the presence of current in a circuit. Now move the north pole of a strong bar magnet towards the one end of the coil. You will find the deflection in the needle of the galvanometer. The deflection becomes zero when the motion of magnet stops. When south pole is moved towards the end of coil, then again deflection is soon but in opposite direction. This shows that motion of magnet with respect to coil produces an induced potential difference, which gives electric current in the circuit. Now let's replace this moving magnet by current carrying coil. Here we use two coils of copper wire. One coil is connected to a battery and switch and other to a galvanometer. When we allow current to pass through coil 1, the needle of the galvanometer quickly moves from one side to zero, showing momentarily current in coil 2. If we stop the current flow in coil 1, the needle momentarily moves to the opposite side, showing current flow in opposite direction in coil 2. Hence, we conclude that a potential difference is induced in the coil 2 whenever the electric current through the coil 1 is changing. The current produced in coil 2 is due to changing magnetic field in coil 1. The process by which changing magnetic field in a conductor induces a current in another conductor is called electromagnetic induction. To know the direction of induced current, we need to apply Fleming's right hand rule. Stretch the thumb, forefinger and middle finger of your right hand so that they are perpendicular to each other. If the forefinger indicates the direction of magnetic field and the thumb indicates the direction of motion of conductor, then the middle finger will show the direction of induced current. The magnitude of induced EMF in any closed circuit is directly proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux through the circuit. Now, can we generate electricity using the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction? Yes, we can. Electric generator is used to generate electricity on a large scale. In an electric generator, mechanical energy is used to rotate a conductor in magnetic field to produce electricity. Electric generator consists of rectangular coil ABCD placed between two poles of magnet. Coil is connected to rings R1 and R2. Two brushes B1 and B2 are kept pressed on rings R1 and R2 respectively. The axle which is internally attached to the rings are mechanically rotated from the outside so that the coil inside magnetic field rotates. When coil ABCD is rotated clockwise, then by Fleming's right hand rule, the induced currents are set up along the direction ABCD. This means that the current in external circuit flows from B2 to B1. After half a rotation, current will move in direction DCBA. This means that the current in external circuit 
flows from B1 to B2. Hence, after every half rotation, the polarity of current in respective arms changes. Such current, which changes direction after equal intervals of time, is called an alternating current or AC. This device is called an AC generator. Direct current or DC does not change its direction with time. Hence, to get a direct current, a split ring type commutator is used. This device is called a DC generator. The difference between the direct and alternating currents is that the direct current always flows in one direction, whereas the alternating current reverses its direction periodically. In India, the frequency of AC is 50 Hz. Advantage of AC over DC is that electric power that can be transmitted over long distances without much loss of energy. In our home, we receive supply of electric power through a main supply supported through overhead poles or underground cables. In the supply wire, wire with red insulation cover is called live wire or positive. The other one is of a black insulation, which is a neutral wire. The potential difference between the two is 220 volts. The third is the earth wire that has green insulation and this is connected to a metallic body deep inside the earth. It is used as a safety measure to ensure that any leakage of current does not give any reverse shock to a user. Electrical appliances used for domestic purposes have earth wire. Electric fuse is an important component of all domestic circuit. It protects the circuits due to short circuiting or overloading of the circuits. During short circuiting, the current in the circuit abruptly increases which causes the thin wire of the fuse to melt before it can damage the appliance. Overloading can occur due to an accidental like in the supply voltage or by connecting too many appliances to a single socket.